Welcome to our lesson on indices with fractional powers. We're going to begin by understanding how to write a base to a fractional power and where the fraction comes from. So we'll begin with the square root of 25. So in this question, 25 is our base. And our fraction comes from the square root, which is the second root. So this number here is 2. And it is the square root of 25 raised to the power of 1. We don't normally include the 1, but it helps us to understand where the fraction comes from. So it is this 1 and this 2 which form our fractional power. So the denominator comes from this 2. And the numerator comes from the 1. So it is 25 to the power of 1 half, which is 5. And for question B, we have the cube root of 27. So again, this number is our base, which is 27. And B3 is the denominator. And this is raised to a power of 1. So our numerator is 1. And 27 to a power of 1 third is 3. And the question C, we have the square root of the second root of 49 raised to the power of 3. So our base is 49. Our denominator is 2. And our numerator is 3. The square root of 49 is 7. And 7 cubed is 343. Do you want to try and write question D and E as a fractional power and then evaluate the solution? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So the question D, our base is 64, the 3 is our denominator and the 2 is our numerator. So 64 to the power of 2 thirds. 64 to the power of a third is 4 and 4 squared is 16. For question E, we have 16 to the power of 3 quarters. 16 to the quarter is 2, and 2 cubed is 8. Okay, let's move on to some more questions. So now we're going to work the problem backwards, where we're going to write each of these using the root symbol. So for question F, we have 36 to the power of 1 half, with 2 in our denominator is the root of the second root of 36 and this is raised to the power of 1. We don't need to include the 1 so it is the square root of 36 which is 6. And for question G we have 64 to the 1 third. We have the root of 64. The 3 is our denominator and we're raising it to the power of 1, which we don't need to include. So this cube root of 64 is 4. Do you want to try and work out question H, I and J? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So the question H, 27 to the 2 thirds. We're looking at the third root of 27 squared. The cube root of 27 is 3. And 3 squared is 9. For question I, we have 9 to the power of 5 over 2. Which is the second of the square root of 9 raised to the power of 5. The square root of 9 is 3. And 3 to the power of 5 is 243. And finally for question J, we have 16 to the power of 1.5. Where we can write the 1.5 as a fraction, which is 16 to the power of 3 over 2. So the square root of 16 cubed, the square root of 16 is 4, and 4 cubed is 64. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.